Okay, so on tons of runways, and actually the, this look was in every city, London, Milan, Paris, and New York. Um, some of the biggest runways, um, Donna Karen, Carolina Herrera, you saw gorgeous skin, lots of lashes, and a bold or beautiful matte lip. Matte lips were everywhere, so I'm gonna recreate my version of this on Katie. It's all about beautiful skin, a nice bold lash, and a beautiful matte lip. So I first prepped her skin, did a lot of moisturizing, so we really got beautiful skin, um, lots of glow, and then I went over it with foundation primer. Of course, as I always do, I'm gonna start with the forehead first, and the eyelids, and I'm gonna do the eye, and I'll go back and I'll finish the lower half of the face afterwards. Now you'll notice that I'm stippling more than I'm white swiping, so I get a little bit more coverage. And yes, she's my palest color. Katie's pale right now. It's okay, we like pale. Especially for this look. This look is all about beautiful pale skin with a little bit of a glow. I'm using a whipped, highly pigmented mousse texture so that it gives us lots of coverage but it does not have a high viscosity so that it does not look heavy. And then I'm applying it with a beauty blender so that it really gives us a beautiful airbrushed finish. And now I'm concealing the eyelids, so we have a beautiful blank canvas, because this eye is all about a beautiful soft lid with lots of lash. Then I'm going to set it with powder, taking a transparent finish powder, patting it on there with my number 76 brush, really setting that lid. Also, using that same highlight powder in the center of the forehead to start my glow. I'm taking another brush and using her natural color everywhere else on her forehead. So as you saw when I applied my powder, I really stippled that highlight powder on and then I brushed it, it off, the excess. Now just applying my brows, little short feathery strokes, using a nice pale blonde, going back over it with my number one brush, which is in my hand. Again for this look, brows are very, very important because it's all about lashes, brows, a beautiful matte lip. Okay, now I want a really beautiful, almost frosty, without shimmer, blank lid. So I'm going to take a nice matte beige cream and I'm going to start my lid. Because I did my concealer first, it really helps to start to create that look. I'm going to take my number 22 brush, close for me, and I'm going to go back over that lid to start create that really beautiful blank canvas. I'm just going to go up and over that lid. Letting it out and up and over that lid. Now, you could choose a shimmer if you wanted, but you'd need to keep it only on the lid, right underneath the crease, not exceeding past the crease, I should say. But because I've used a matte, I can actually go up over the entire lid. So I get that nice blank canvas. Now, I'm gonna first set it with a matte white because I want a really stark white lid and I'm going to pat it and stipple it on so I get lots of product on there. I'm only going to stipple it on the lid and the brow bone.
This look could work for every eye shape except for hooded. Now, after I've stippled on the white, I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, my number 28, and take a matte beige and just go over the whole lid. To set the whole lid. And what we're left with is a lighter linen brow bone, but we set that whole lid. Now I still want the lid and the the lid to be even brighter and wider. So I'm gonna now go back over that with a white frost. Again, I'm gonna stipple it. Just on that lid. Again, using my number 22. Take my number 28 and brush the excess off. Now, I want to see what's happening, and I'm going to go ahead and curl and put a little layer of mascara on our lashes. so I can see what I'm doing. I like to have a layer of mascara on. Plus, I need to have a layer on before I start to put my false lashes on. Now, I'm gonna create just a little bit of a crease Using my number tw my number thirteen brush, a very pale t matte taupe. I'm gonna draw on a little bit of a crease. Keeping it very defined. Then taking my number 11 brush in a very pale pink and going back over that taupe and blending it out. Now, we're gonna prepare for the false lash. So we're gonna take a black eyeliner. We're gonna line right at the base of the lash line. And then to make sure we get the color really up into the lash line, I'm gonna take number 41 brush and push that color right into that base, taking some black shadow and really setting it.
Now we're going to apply our lashes. Of course, first measuring. Coloring the band. And the glue dry, glue dry a little bit. Now letting those dry. Now I'm going to clean up underneath. Let those dry. Take a little eye cream. Just clean up everything that's spilled. and start applying foundation. Now, so I can get it in tighter, I'm going to take my number 54 brush, my concealer. I'm going to get it exactly where I need it underneath. I mean, I'm using a little bit lighter concealer to help create that glow. A little bit lighter shade. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit darker foundation and start to give her a, just a little bit of a contouring in the cheek area. Start to create that glow. Not too dark, because we still want to create that kind of pale skinned flesh cheek effect. I just went four shades darker in our foundation. We're not going for the J Lo glow here. Concealing any little imperfections with her natural shade. Look up. Using my highlight powder underneath the eyes. Set that concealer. Now, I'm going to take concealer pencil. So I really want to keep this eye light and bright. Look up for me. And I'm going to line the inside wet tissue of the eye. You don't want to do white.
Now, you want to make sure you take and you finish off. Look up and over. Now I'm going to use a little bit of liquid. Look up and over that way. Just to make sure the lash looks natural. You just want to finish where it matches. And I'm going to take a little bit of my light shimmery color. Look up for me. And I'm going to highlight that inside corner of the eye and along the lower lid with my number 14 brush. Then we're going to just take the lightest dusting of bronzer. Miss Katie, I'm using a very pale bronzer because she's paler. Give her a little bit of a glow. Taking a little bit of that bronzer and going down the sides of the nose. Making sure to take and blend her lashes into the false. Now, the trick to doing a matte lipstick is you want to really moisturize lips well before you apply the matte lipstick. Nice, generous layer. Let her rub her lips together. Blot them. Then we're going to take and we're going to line the lips okay, using a nice neutral shade. We're going to blend that out. And since this season was colorful, we're going to do colorful. As you can see, it's a beautiful, easy to wear look. You can tell why it was on all the runways in every city, Paris, Milan, London, New York, Donna Karen, Carolina Herrera, it was everywhere. Beautiful skin, matte lip, bright, bold. You can do any, any shade you want. Heavy lash, a light lid, not a lot of color. It's just a gorgeous matte lip. Let's go out and have fun with it. We're gonna take our hair down and come back with a finished look. All right, be right back.